So in the subscriber journey, we discussed about the double opt-in setting uh, and also the confirmed humanity setting or the recapture setting. Um, and the double opt-in may be required depending where you're marketing to. I know countries such as Canada, Germany and Australia, their laws state that the double opt-in must be used. So it doesn't mean if you're living in that country or if you're operating a business from that country, it means if you're marketing to people of that country. So I'm in the UK, if I'm marketing to people in, in Australia, then I should be using the double opt-in uh, setting. The recapture or the confirmed humanity setting, completely optional, whether you want that or not. Um, a little bit of information about both those settings, the double opt-in, whether it's a legal requirement or not, some people like to use it um, as a way of confirming that people have entered their correct information. Some people like to use it as best practice. Personally, I don't. Uh, it just adds an extra step to the whole sequence um, and kind of limits, the, you know, it, it makes people do more work to get onto your list. Uh, I try to keep it as easy as possible. The recapture, again, it's optional. That is intended to stop bots signing up for your list. Um, you know, as we know, we either pay, depending on how many subscribers we've got on our MailChimp accounts, or if you are using the free accounts, you're limited to 2,000 people. So what we don't want is automated bots signing up for our list, um, because they are out there, so we do have this option turning this on. Again, I don't use it because it adds a step to the process. And I don't really have an issue with bots. Um, I never really have an issue with bots trying to get onto my list. But some people do, um, just the way it is. So we've got the option there. Completely up to you whether you want to use these. Or it is partially up to you whether you want to use one of them. And completely up to you if you want to use the other. Okay, so where are these, are these settings? So here we are in our dashboard. Click on audience. We want to, to look at the audience settings. Um, and over on the right hand side, we've got manage audience. On the drop down, we can go to settings. So this is where we change our audience settings. And in the audience name and defaults, uh, we have these form settings. We've got the enable double opt in, the enable recapture, and the enable GDPR, which we'll go over later on. So this is where we turn the double opt in on. And we can turn the recapture on as well. Um, or we can have just one or the other, just a double opt-in or just the recapture. And if you do make any changes here, don't forget to go down to the bottom and click on save. And that's it. We turn double opt-in on. And um, we can turn recapture on as well. And there we go. They are both on. So people now wanting to get onto our list will have to go through those two processes um, of double opting in and then confirming they are human. Um, that is how you turn them on if you wish to have them on for your journey, for your subscriber journey. Easy as that.